Hello and welcome. I'm Amethyst Moonflower and welcome to my channel and thanks for coming and joining me here today. I'm just doing a little uh, witchy room tour update for you guys because I've done a lot of rearranging and changing in the last year or so. So I figured I'd just go ahead and share with you what I've got going on now. So um, we're just starting here with the sign because, you know, this is kind of my entrance into my room which is down in the basement the sign that I've made and I used to have like a tree here but I've gotten rid of that since then and now I just have the staffs and my broom for me and my husband that we've made and here I have like this moon painting with the zodiac constellations going around it and my telescope and stuff and then I'm going to slowly pan you around and here I have my wind chime and a painting and on top of this like here let me back up a little bit on top of this little uh, fireplace that I made for a Halloween prop I have candles down in there and also my little collection of mystical creatures here I got some dragons and some fairies unicorns um, yeah, so those are my little figurines. I'd like to get some mermaids, but so far that's what I have. And this one's actually not mine. That one's actually my daughter's, but we keep it here. And then I have my bongo drum. And then here, on this would be the north wall. If I back up here to kind of give you a, a good view, I have a tapestry and a piece of wood hanging up that I got some candles on and then a big mirror on here as well as all my other altar items uh, right now it's kinda set up for spring uh, we just had Ostara a week or so ago and the full moon on Sunday here is a painting of Hecate that I made as well as like a lantern an owl, a key candle, the cauldron, and uh, an ancestor bowl. I, that's what I call it. This I haven't lit it. I forgot to light it. But um, it just has like some bones and some fossils and stuff in there. And I usually light it in honor of my ancestors. Uh, chalice, moon candle, moon goddess statue holding my rose quartz sphere and like a mini basalm pen some oils and sprays my water bowl crystals this is my little bell and then here in the middle is like my offering bowl that I give to my gods and goddesses um, it really just has like little things that I found in nature that I like to bring home and put in there also with like some oats and other things and you might see some of these like um, maple leaves that are covered in paint and they're covered in paint because when we was doing our Ostara ritual we did like an egg toss painting thing and there was a bunch of leaves on the ground and they got splattered with the paint and they ended up looking really cool like here I'll show you this one up close so that you can see they're like all splattered with paint, which I thought was super cool, so I brought some home to put on my altar. And I might end up using them in my Book of Shadows, I haven't decided yet. And then I have this branch that I added to kind of like look like a tree in the background. And I have um, a bunch of little charms that I kind of put on earring hooks. So they're kind of like little hangy charms for um, the tree and I think it looks super cute I got some crystals a key I got um, a silver skull back there here is an obsidian skull um, just a really cool bead a pentacle this was on my book of shadows but I decided to put it on the tree and some more crystals and charms like back there is a hand so I think it looks super cute and then on the like the god side or the masculine side, I have the horn god candle holder, a Jesus statuette, salt, some incense, and this uh, big leaf bowl, serving bowl, um, that I kind of, 
I have this real uh, nest that we collected last year that had fallen out of a tree, and I put three um, angel-like crystals in there to look like robin eggs. And then also these uh, dollar store Easter candle holders. And these are um, a couple of the eggs that we filled with paint and threw at the uh, the canvas. And my daughter wanted to bring some home, so we collected a couple of those. And I put them in there with some flowers and some moss. And um, a rabbit oracle card. And a feather. And I also made this uh, sundial or wheel of the year. I painted it myself. And you can actually turn it and rotate it throughout the year. So that, you know, the uh, the current one would be more on top and I mean I painted the center sun gold and these look like moons which they kind of do look like moons but I use gold to paint them and they're just representations of the sun as it moves through the uh, lighter half and the darker half of the year so you can see here that it's equal half and uh, dark and light so it would be the equinox and then some you know fake flowers and more crystals. I have this is like a some sort of uh, gemstone or crystal egg or whatever. I'm not sure what type it is though, but my mother gave it to me, and so I have that here along with this like uh, wand pen that I made. It's a pen, but I like it as you can use it as a wand as well. And it's small, so I squeezed it in there. And this is just um, you know, um, a makeshift athame. That I have on here. It's really just like a boot knife or whatever. And I like it because it's small. But I actually have a new one coming. A black handled dagger. And then. So this is the top half of my altar. That I have going on right now. And then the bottom half of my altar. Is really kind of just like a meditation space. It's really low to the ground. And it allows me to just kind of like. Sit here and meditate. These are. I got water, earth, air, and fire. Elemental candles, a salt candle, a green heart prosperity candle, a purple candle, some, these are, uh, this is a geo that my daughter opened up, the other half is over there, she broke it open and so we got it sitting on the altar here, here is a piece of azurite, my amethyst, um, Celestite, and then some other, like, crystal geo that my daughter found in a rock garden, like, way long ago, like, years ago, and, you know, it's, like, some kind of druzy, it's really pretty, so we have that here, too, as well, along with my white sage bundle, and my feather wafter wand, Buddha, some oracle cards that I pulled this morning. Um, and this is a painting that I made as well. You know, that kind of shows... It's kind of hard to see because it's dark down here. But it's like a tree of life. And then the uh, moon and the sun facing each other in the shape of the tree... In the shadow of the tree. And it's really pretty. And I also have, like, my tree man... Um, incense burner and my cauldron over here Ganesh and yeah and then my crystal grid that I have set up right now that I'm been working with it's kind of like heart centered healing energy going on right now as well to kind of like go with the spring energy so this is my little meditation area in the back that's like um it's like an altar board that I can use to take when I want to go outside and, you know, I just put it on the ground and it acts as like a temporary altar space. And here is a new addition to my practice is my 14-inch hand drum, shaman drum, which I love. And I did the painting on it as well. Um, shows the moon phases, the zodiac phases, the... Um, wheel, the seasonal wheel, sabbats, and Hecate's wheel, and the star. So, yeah, I did all that painting myself, and I love working with it. It's actually really amplified my practice. And so, let me get up here. 
Sorry if it's shaky. But also, I added this big black rug to my room just like a week ago, which I love because I'm in the basement and the floor is concrete and it's hideous and cold and the rug has made a huge difference in just the overall comfort level of the room down here. It's much warmer now. And then here is just like this chest that I picked up and painted black. And um, this is just like some sort of cardboard artwork that I made with some craft paper and painted the um witch's rune or wrote the witch's rune on it and this is where i keep my book of shadows which i've already shown you in the binder in this drawer i keep all my incense and charcoal and tongs and stuff like that and then in the bottom is where i keep you know extra jars and bowls and fabrics and just extra stuff tucked neatly away back there and on the top is where I keep my fortune telling decor I call it I got all this stuff during Halloween time in you know 2020 uh, this palmistry book and the fortune telling sign and the hands all got from Michael's during Halloween time and I love it. I don't have it on right now, but when it's on it glows purple and it's super freaking cute. And I also have my amethyst uh, pendulum hanging here. And this is um, a piece of natural rough um, peacock ore. And some dowsing rods and a um, Seven Sisters wine bottle that I use as a candle holder. So that's that little area there. And then over here, it just keeps a lot of my paper and notebooks and stuff like that. And in here is just more like art slash office supplies like washi tapes and stickers and, you know, more stickers and things like that. And then here, this desk actually me and my husband made specifically to be like the same size as my actual office desk so that they it's like an extension. It makes the desk even longer. So it wraps all the way around, which I absolutely love this function. It functions so well for me. It just gives me so much more room when I'm working. But here is like my little um, tarot astrology area that I've kind of just started setting up here. And I love how I got all my cards out in these little like divider trays and so much easier to grab and things and so I can just do my spreads right here or if like I'm writing or doing astrology or anything like that I can just do it all right here and here's some more of my journals you know with different purpose uses like the bottom one well this is my pen case and this is um kind of like a business um bullet journal well or brain dump journal this is an empty, I just got this the other day at the dollar store, but I liked it because it had this nice Celtic design on it. It was cheap, but I thought it was cool. I could use it for something. And then here's like my moon journal where I do my uh, journaling and artwork for the f different times of the moon. And then this is um, a leather bound journal that my husband bought me a few years ago. And I right now I'm using this as like morning pages or tarot spreads that I do in the morning so those are my kind of daily working journals that I keep here candy because you can never have too much candy computer printer office stuff this is my planner that I made that I've shared with you guys before oh kind of bent it up a little so that's my planner and then the tray for like you know that right here is where my daughter keeps all her schoolwork because she's homeschooled. And then on the bottom is just like um, regular home paperwork that has to be filed away. And then my um, desk filing system for the family and for my business and anything else office paper related that I file down in there. So it does function very much like an office here, but it allows me to do my business I homeschool my daughter, I keep track of, you know, all of our home stuff, paperwork, all right here in this corner, and, you know, because my business that I'm running is spiritual, 
inspired based um, it works down here in my space and then over here is just like the shelves that I use to store all my um, handmade goods that I make for like my Etsy store like these are all my art prints that I've made you know some brochures business cards jewelry pens and notebooks journals and some unfinished projects and down there is where I keep my you know fabrics and altar cloths and things like that and then this big piece of fabric tapestry that I've had forever I use to just kind of like separate my room from everything else that's in the basement the washer and dryer storage and crafting that's a mess so it allows the space to be its own space so I really like that but most of the time it's open free walking through but when I want to close it off I can and then up here I have you know um, a water bowl pitcher set that I got at a yard sale which I like to use sometimes during ritual um, my divination teacup and a teapot and then all of my herb collection that I have that I've all labeled um, made all the labels myself and I put all these little moon stickers on them and stuff and then more concoctions herbs like these are this is my storm water sun water moon water sea salt black salt these are all my incense blends that I use during ritual so I have full moon new moon stardust dreams which is kind of more like a like a more gentle version of like a flying oil slash incense type blend and then this is my Brightest Blessings Incense Blend, which is like a custom blend that I've also created that I use for just a lot of workings. Because it, it, I just love the energy and the smell of it. It's my special blend. And then Crossroads Dirt, Myrrh, White Copal, Frankincense Resin, and then my Nine Woods, my Sacred Nine Woods Blend here, which has got nine different types of Holy Tree barks that I've kind of like chipped up and blended together that I use for like making sacred fires and stuff more incense more herbs these are all oils that I've uh essential oil blends that I've made or magical oil blends this that I got fire air water and earth and then stardust dreams which is like I said another um gentle flying oil that kind of coincides with the incense blend and then my zodiac incense blends are back here some more spices oils and down here are more magical oils that I've made protection prosperity road opening um, you know some water and some spoons my mortar and pestles back there and then here is my box with just more ritual supplies in there and then this big cast iron cauldron was gifted to me by um, a pagan friend candles candles so there's the shelf and then here's my curio cabinet with all my trinkets the top half is these are all crystals all my crystals in here and then my wands that one's my husband's, that one's mine, that's my daughter's, and then these are all my crystal healing wands and some of my spheres. And then down here is some chalices and some other athames that I have had collected, some shells, and then more like natural things that I found in the woods that I keep. And then this is like pretty much my bookshelf. This is like all my witchy books. More witchy books and tarot cards, and then these are all like boxes full of other things. Like this one's got more spell candles. This is my Reiki box. And then this one just holds a bunch of little trinkets that I've collected over the years. This is a little pocket mirror. Some chimes, Chinese ch uh, symbols. Um, this is a little card collection that I'm working on making that's just, you know, got some crystal information on it. Another... Um, crystal that was gifted to me by a pagan friend. Um, it's got amethyst on it. And then my journals and binders. And then more books. And then over here 
is kind of just another like little corner shelf. This up here is my money, prosperity, magic going on here, success bowl and candle and this is success oil that I made that I use to anoint the candle and myself and all my money workings. And then here's just and this stuff is just more like more pretty stuff that I've collected over the years a little drum and things and then my sign that I can't hang on my door but I decided to keep a painting that I made and then another crystal grid that I've made also that has like you know this one's more of like an intuitive um, type of grid it has, you know, Labradorite, Fluorite, Amethyst, Lapis Azuli, things like that on there. And this table, it right now I have it kind of just set up like this because I'm not really using it. But if I want to use it, then I'll just clear it off and then use it for like central altar table sometimes. And then um, a squishy pillow that I made for sitting on. My yoga mat. And then this basket is like a big basket that I use really to go outside and collect herbs or natural items but right now I have these like Easter eggs that I filled with rice and then put a bunch of like you know magical symbols on them and during Ostara we was using them during ritual as rattles but I like them so much I'm probably just going to keep them and we can continue to use them throughout you know ritual um and they're fun because you know moves energy there's a lot of things that you can do with with um, rattles, but then also because it's an egg and it's filled with rice, it's very like purifying and fertile, and it's just it's, these are great tools to use, especially when you're in group and not everybody has an instrument. It allows people to participate in making, still making music, or as healing. Sorry if you can hear my daughter running down the stairs. And this is my farmer's alamac in here so right now I'm just kind of using it as storage but it, it's usually for like when I go outside to collect herbs and then this is like my book stand with my light so that I can read my book when it gets dark and then another dream catcher and so that pretty much sums up my entire room so I'm just gonna go ahead and come over here in the corner and give you a quick little span around the room so you can see the fullness of everything. So that's my room. Thank you all for coming and joining and walking through my room with me. I hope you had fun. And I hope you like it as much as I do. Um, let me know what you think. If, you like, if you've seen my other videos of my room tours, let me know if you like the, the way that I have it rearranged. If it feels better this way or something like that. Anyways, so thanks, and um, I'll be making another video here real soon, and I'll be seeing you guys again next time. Bye!